All right, hey guys, what's up? It's the king of K-pop here. Um, I'm going to do a quick rant video. I have to do it on the subject. This rant is geared not towards Sundan B, but towards the company behind her, Playlist Entertainment. Um, Sundan B, solo singer, she's been gone for, for a two-year hiatus. She's supposed to make a comeback this year. And I read on Occupop.com last night that her comeback, she was supposed to come back in August, um, this, this month, as a matter of fact, at like the end of this month. And come to find out, um, Platus, again, has delayed her comeback all the way to October of this year. Now, I know, you know, some people may not, may figure, well, you know, August is almost over, you have September, and then August be, and then October will be here, and then bam, you know, she's back. But for me, I'm a little disappointed, and to me, it's kind of, it's killing my excitement for Sundan B because this is not the first time Sundan B's comeback has been delayed this year. Um, so actually, Sundan B was actually supposed to come back last year, 2011, um, which I thought, you know, if you look at how K the K-pop music scene was last year compared to this year, last year probably would have been a better spot because this year the competition and the music has just been at its peak in a long time. So. 2011 would have been perfect, but the reason why they did they delayed her comeback in 2011 was because Sun Dumbi was finishing up and wrapping up on a drama that she was doing. So because of that, it got delayed. Then they announced that Sun Dumbi's comeback was slated for a February release. Okay, February of 2012. We get here February 2012. They said, "Oh wait, we're going to delay it until May, May 1st." When May when May first came well when May came around, we're delaying her debut to June. When June came, they're like, we're gonna delay her debut to no not June. I think it was, yeah when it was in, when they said they delayed it to May from February to May, they're like we're gonna delay it until July. When June came, we're gonna delay her debut to August. Now that it's August, we're gonna delay her debut to October. And they keep giving the excuses of, you know, we're trying, okay, first it was, we're, we're finished up with the music, it's a matter of picking out the song, um, and working on the choreography, and I get that, you know, a lot of times they, they delay comebacks for certain singers because they, they want the, they want to work on the, the, the highest quality of music, the video, production work, picking out the right, um, single to promote the song, the whole shebang, and other times too they do push back comebacks to sort of delay the um, the competition um, of other you know comebacks and popular artists that wouldn't clash because they want their artists to be successful. I understand all the reasons. I understand reasons for delays and stuff in K-pop. However, I've never seen so many delays in one year in my life in a long time in K-pop. This makes the fifth time Playlist Entertainment has delayed Sun Dumbi's comeback. And even though some people may consider that to be a big deal or whatever. I think delaying her comeback, you know, five times is five times too many. And after a while, it start, it's going to kill the momentum and the buzz and the intrigue for people. And then when she does come out, even if it is a good song, they're probably not as excited or be, will be intrigued because it's like we've waited for so long and you kept trolling us with her comeback. Um, so, you know, if, you know, like I said, I get that they're trying to, they may want to delay because you have Kara who's come back this month with a new album. G Dragon drops his new album next week. So they want to find a, a, a rough spot, you know, a, a clear spot to, you know, bring Sun Dumbi back, especially after a two year hiatus, to where she can promote the best of her abilities and be successful and win some awards. But the more they keep delaying her comeback at the latter of this year, um like I said, not only will they I, I feel it's gonna kill the momentum, but Sooner or later, they, she may go up against a returning Sunishi Day. Um, Girls Generation are coming back at the end of this year. And once they come back, you can just pretty much kill it and don't even try for your artists to compete. Because once Sunishi Day comes back and they, they hit the music scene again, they're going to kill every award show. They're going to they're gonna just slay it all. They're going to destroy it all. They're going to take it all. Your artists won't even stand a blue, a blue chance in hell. So... Um, I, I think that, you know, if you look back in February when they delayed her comeback, you look at the competition they had. You had a returning, 
Shiny, Big Bang, and Shinoa, okay? And in May, you had Tetisa, or TTS, the Sepian of Girls' Generation from, like, May to June, all right? Um, July, you had a returning FX and Super Junior, okay? I get to kind of want to dodge FM artists. That's probably your best bet. You want to dodge the bullet FM artists and some YG artists as well. And then now the only thing you really have going up against is a Beast, a returning Kara, and G Dragon. Uh, probably best for her to go up against those guys than to keep the land or come back further and further, where she's going up against a returning Sunishi. That um, I just think it's I think it's ridiculous. I was so disappointed. Um, I was really looking forward to her comeback, especially after two years. I'm still looking forward to her comeback, but after delaying her comeback now for the fifth time this year, um, my momentum is just like, I, I don't have it anymore like I used to. So now I'm at the point now, well, I'll see Sun W come, I'll see a return when I see it. If I don't, oh well, you know, I'm at that point now. Um, so let me know what you guys think about Sun W. Are you still pumped up and excited for her comeback? Um, have has all of the delays since the beginning of this year really killed the momentum and buzz and intrigue that you were having for Sun Dumbie this year. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment box below. Subscribe. Peace.